We're gonna try to do two borders today. Hiya. On our mission to visit nine countries in nine months. What do we do? Border crossings are by far the most stressful days. No, not for him. Hola, amigo. Today we're trying to do something we've never done before. Uh, I think they're trying to cross the border. Hopefully this is the last stop. But will two border crossings in one day be more than we can handle? One stupid piece of paper that we needed to get out of the country. But for now, we are savoring our last few minutes of Eastern El Salvador at Punta Mango. from all the time at the beach. Had the shower. Hey, it's great actually. It's nice, cold, fresh water. Look like you're wearing a toga. It's a, yeah, right. It's a different type of shower. This isn't something that you would see in the States, but it works really well. Um, you just take the water out like, like so. As you can see, it's nice and clean. And then dump it on yourself. It's nice and fresh too, which is great after surfing. Hola. <laughs> Mi amigo has been helping me cook uh, breakfast here. We've been staying at this family's house for the last two nights by the beach while we enjoyed that, but we're getting ready to leave today. Hola. ¿Cómo se llama tu perro? Tito. ¿Y cómo se llama tú? Dime. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Gracias uh, por venido con tu casa. Gracias por venir a casa. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jack. Made him a little swing right here. You get in there. It smells like travel. It does. The whole tree breaks. I'm doing it, guys. <laughs> That's it. That's it for this uh, Puta Mango spot. It was amazing. The people here were really nice. I thought it was going to be more money to stay here, but then he was like, $15 for the whole thing. So I gave him a 20, you know? Because that's what we do. We are now officially on our way to Nicaragua. We have a couple stops to make along the way, but we've got to get all of our documents and everything ready to cross the border. Following our friends, Ernie and Allie, we are going with them all the way to Nicaragua. So you're going to be meeting them in just a couple minutes here. We got a little roadblock right here, but it's not the typical roadblock. Oh, Paco. Is it the bulls? Is it the big bulls, Can you buddy? open the window? Oh, my. <laughs> I don't want him to scare them. <laughs> Paco is not on the moon. Oh, yeah. Border crossing days are all about paperwork, so we headed to La Union in El Salvador to fill out the entry forms for both Honduras and Nicaragua that needed to be completed online before we arrived at the border. That was a day. A day of a lot of work so we could get across this border already. The paperwork was super confusing and like annoying and weird and the website was like freezy and all in Spanish. So super fun. Uh, but luckily that cafe had good Wi-Fi and we could just kind of hang out there and nobody gave us any trouble. Are we looking for somewhere to camp? Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. I don't We're gonna sleep here for the night, we think. Yeah. It's just kind of on the side of the road. Um, we still need to find copies and cash, so we're gonna go for a little wander around town and see if that is possible. It's getting kind of late, so things might be closing up. I agree! I know! What do we do? Great success. We saw the law firm was open and we're like, they must have a copy machine. So we went and asked and he said, go to Nelson's. And we're like, Nelson's is closed. And he's like, how many copies do you need? So we got the good. He hooked us up too. So next up on the agenda, find an ATM that doesn't have extremely expensive fees. First one we went to was $7. <laughs> Found an ATM. We also discovered very belatedly at our time here in El Salvador that Super Selectos is a very fancy grocery store. Never as easy said as done. Ooh, it's right here. Yep. So we're back at a different machine. This is the one that charges $7 oh. that Frank just threw on the floor. 
Okay, what we're finding in Central America is that some of the banks talk to our bank and some of the banks don't talk to our bank. So you might have to try a couple different brand names until you find one that actually communicates properly with your bank. Good mythical morning. <gasps> oh, sh that is for sure the worst thing that's gonna happen today. I'm trying to stay super positive and be in good spirits because we're gonna try to do two borders today. I've told myself the affirmation that everything is happening for me, not to me. So spilling Paco's water is a, is a good thing. I get to clean the floor a little bit, you know? It's a, it was meant to be. I got one dollar's worth of tortillas. Wow, 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 fresh cooked. 12 of them. 12 for one dollar, I told you a dollar would yeah. be a lot. I could've got 24. <laughs> And it's super hot because it's super fresh. Hi. We're about 45 minutes from the first border crossing, so we gotta go. Friends are preparing to get ready too. Oh, you guys are making breakfast? No. No? Coffee. Coffee. Are you almost ready? Are you excited for today's adventures? <sighs> excited? No. <laughs> but I'm about ready. Yeah. My, my first border crossing wall six. We'll see how. Oh it's no. no! Don't tell anybody. Yeah, I know. Jamaican, yeah, I'm trying to think about my body. It's gonna be a long day, so I want to make sure that we're well fueled with more than just coffee. You sponged. <laughs> so I think it's really important for us today to remember to eat at regular intervals. Almost every time we cross a border recently, we've forgotten to eat, and then we kind of get like a little hangry and or overwhelmed. Headachey. Headachey, all these different things. So it's really important to just have some things ready to go at your disposal, that way you can just pick it up and eat it real quick, rather than having to like, you know, possibly go somewhere and pick something up. Plus, who knows, they might take away all of our fresh fruits and veggies, because they can do that at the borders. Might as well use up all my avocado. Panko's already hot, boy. All right, we're ready to roll. We're not ready to roll. I don't have the directions in my phone. <laughs> if you've made it this far into Central America and you don't have the iOverlander app yet, you definitely need it when you're crossing the borders. There is so much information about what copies you need, what paperwork that you need, which buildings to go to. So you could literally just read this a couple days before and get a lot of great tips on what to bring with you to make the process easier. We fill up right before we get to the border. That way we we'll always have a full gas tank. Lo siento. Total, full, regular. Yeah, regular. We've got technically a five hour drive today if we make it all the way to the boom, which is the surf break that Ernie and Ali want to get to tonight. We're at the tip area. This looks... There's some guy on the bicycle trying to wave you down. You should, uh, don't, don't stop for him. Hola, amigo. I did not understand what that man said at all. Yeah, do I? Si. 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 Uno momento. Yeah, see, si. see. Si. Yeah, it's for you. Uh. If you're like Frankie and I and have minimal Spanish, getting through the borders becomes a lot more confusing. Obviously, it would be helpful to work on your Spanish before you come, but just do the best you can. Signs it, signs it. So this is the correct guy. Just for whatever reason, they're not in the office. So what, they're just checking to see that the picture we took of our verification code? No, he's signing our tip. Yeah, he seems official. He's taking a picture of the QR code and stuff and scanning it, and he signed it. So you need one copy of it and then the actual Perfecto, mi amigo. original. <laughs> so is this the building for Paco? Yeah, si, we go aquí. up to the right. Gracias. Ay, ay, ay. This isn't stressful at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're actually in the wrong spot. <laughs> It's just like this is inevitable, especially no sign. especially when you don't use a helper, and that's the reason why like they have these people here. But you also don't want to get strapped to having to pay them a bunch of money. I, I think you just figure it out as you go. It's, well, and they're still helpful. They're like, go down this road. Like you haven't gone far enough. Yeah, but like, like, okay. we don't. And we then don't I read on though. my Overlander. Is that correct? And then yes, yeah. it is. So. so realistically, I think the best thing is to keep your eye Overlander app out, and then like read it as you're going and pay attention to what the buildings look like and then you'll understand where you really need to go. We're now driving down a super unofficial looking road with giant potholes. And this is apparently the correct way. Wow, that's a pothole. That's like 
That's a pothole that a child could drown in. Well, this sure does look like a pothole filled road. <laughs> Two. Exactly. We were so glad to be doing this border crossing with Ernie and Allie from Never Been Nomads. They definitely made it a lot more fun, even though Allie was not feeling the greatest. Ooh, okay, our tip or temporary vehicle import is canceled, which is good. So you definitely need a copy of this. Now we're heading back down the dirt road to go across the bridge, we think, to enter Honduras. But I don't know if we're fully checked out of El Salvador. Not really sure normally, what's next. We'll find out. Normally, when you check out of somewhere, all it is is surrendering your tip and getting a passport stamp. You don't, yeah, but we haven't done our passports. The reason why we didn't do the passports is because you don't get an entry stamp to El Salvador. Oh. So you get no stamp on your passport at all for El Salvador. This road is the big old jiggity joke. Jiggity joke. It makes you stay wiggity woke. <laughs> These roads are so sketchy. It's like a two lane road, but you're supposed to drive past all the trucks, but then it's only a one lane coming the other way, but there's a truck coming at us. So that's super fun. Couldn't have made this a four lane road. No way, no how. Not no es possible. Screeching and reaching. You just talking in rhyme today? That's it. Three, two, one, go. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's definitely really handy to have your eye overlander up because None of this, uh... Would make sense. No, and like, no, there's not real sign. Like, there was a sign there, but there was no sign at the roundabout to tell you which way to go. But then, when you're on the right road, it says 600 meters this way. I'm still wondering where we do the Paco paperwork, because that's really important in order to enter Nicaragua. But luckily, it's marked on I Overlander. So once we're done with our stuff here, and I think entering Honduras, then we'll kind of loop back around to do the stuff for Paco. It's all on the app. Paco, go to mama's chair. Go. This is the dance that we play every single time with Paco. He comes on my lap, and then I have to like wait for Alex to get out, so that way I can tell him to move over. Crossing the border with Paco is always an extra step, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. He's been loving this adventure to nine countries in nine months, and we love doing it with him. Manny, this is for you. <laughs> Paco is sitting relaxed. We got Paco's paperwork done. We're now just getting our tip. Make sure that they check the VIN number and make sure everything matches so that way when we go into the country, all good. Gracias, Gracias. amigo. Okay. I think I heard that we park on this bridge. We do what we want. <laughs> oh, yeah. I look at the people going across the river. It's going for a swim. Uh, I think they're trying to cross the border. No. Yeah, look at these With guys. With just watching their them. bathing suits. Yeah. You guys want to just swim across? <laughs> There's guys going across right now. It does look really nice. There's a bunch of guys walking across in the. I know. I'm like, I was like, are all those military watching right now to make sure they don't cross the border? Yeah. <laughs> all their guns and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> A quick health check and then we were on to the main building. In case you were wondering, Allie is about seven feet tall and so I'm also very tall. Hopefully this is the last stop. to come to this bank, but it's not necessary for me and Alex to be at the bank. She has Ernie with her, so they're gonna hang out and they'll walk back together, so I know she's safe. Hola, amigo. A photo. <laughs> Phantom, air conditions blaring, Paco's feeling good, now he's just waiting for mama. No pants. Actually, when I got back, slightly in like the shaded area, the van wasn't that hot, which was really good because I was worried about the boy. You looking for the mama? We fudged up, we got to the front of the bank line and she was like, you don't even have your paperwork for your vehicle. Like, what is this? She was so angry. She was like, Shh. So anyways, we had to come back to the big blue building that we were in the first time to pay the $3 fee, come to where the stickers are, and that's where you do your vehicle stuff. It doesn't say that though in the app, right? 
I mean, I did say something about stickers, but I don't know. I guess we just like missed it. Missed it. Because again, there's no signs on anything. Their office closes from 12 until 1. So basically, then we need to hopefully get there. We have like 30, less than 30 minutes to get back and pay. And apparently, these guys are kind of slow. Hey, give me the spiel. All right, don't get run over my car. I gave those guys a couple of pretty smiles and they let me pay right there. So we don't have to go to the bank, which is great because we would have missed the time for the bank anyways. So now we need to run over to the office for Paco, but we have all of our documents for the vehicle. So all of is good, we're good. Now we gotta make sure Paco's good. I'm glad that Alex is there talking to them because if I would've given him pretty smiles, they probably would've sent me back. They would've been like, you know what? It's double. <laughs> I wanna know what you guys think in the comments below. Would they have worked out for me? Does a pretty smile help in immigration? Is <laughs> the van hotter than out here? I went, I was like, had chills in there and I went to sleep. Okay. And then I woke up just like drenched and sweating. Like, I need to come out here. Oh man. Okay, we're going. My friends. <laughs> We're on our way to try to find the pet immigration office for Honduras. Oh, they take lunch at noon also. Oh, let's so go maybe check. we can run over there. Yeah. Verde? Verde? Si, sí, gracias. Come on, go, go, go. Hola. Hola. Paco is all set. The guy was really nice and actually made some extra copies for us that apparently we needed. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Now we try to finally leave El Salvador for real and enter Honduras. If we can get out of this parking spot, which feels a little bit T I G H T. Over and then like shimmy my way out. Oh my god. Right up on the sidewalk. Gotta do what you gotta do. Ah. I'm good. Everything's great. Oh, Frank. Squeezing it in. The truck moves immediately after you do all not, that work. Not the right one, though. <laughs> all right, let's get over there. Right. Hola, amigo. Buenas. Okay, gracias. Adios. Go, 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 go. Black and Dippy, go. <laughs> In Honduras! Yeah! We're officially here! Made it to another country! What's it? Number four out of nine countries in nine months. And we're gonna be in number five before the end of the day! Like every time we get to a new country, we get so excited. <laughs> I don't know if it's hard, if it's just more of like a puzzle that you have to put together. Two hours and 35 minutes. 235. It said the traffic is worse than usual, so. Great. And this is the reason why Alex made a snack earlier, so that way we can munch. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it right now. Guacamole, chickpeas and zucchini. Check. And super fresh tortillas. Super bean. I needed this so badly. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my God, traffic in Honduras. It's another one of these dodge dip d dive situations where it's a one lane, but the cars go into the other lane and then hope that a truck isn't coming the other way. But there was definitely a truck coming from the other direction. So now we gotta get over. This is, this is the most stressful part of driving. Either you get in this line and you go, or you get stuck in this traffic line for hours. We finally made it out of that spot, thank gosh. I'm so happy that way. Going that way. Soon? East? Which way are we going? Who knows? We're about 20 minutes out from the second border. Yeah. Here's the thing about Nicaragua. We gotta take down all of our cameras. They apparently are very against journalists and obviously we're not journalists who've seen our content before. To make the process easier, we're gonna put away all of our cameras. It's gonna be tricky for us to film this border crossing because we wanna be as, I don't know. We wanna make it as easy as possible. Yeah. Plus we have something on us that we're not supposed to cross with. I don't know if we want to say that we almost need like a hundred clips in front I'll and behind us in case they do find the camera. It starts with a D. Four hours later, literally walked 
like 10 miles between the one building, the other building, the one building, the other building, this building. They didn't do it right. We had to go back to that building. And then the one stupid piece of paper that we needed to get out of the country, they gave it to us for Ernie and Allie, yeah. and they didn't give one to Ernie and Allie. It was actually their Bienvenidos fault. From Nicaragua. Woo we made it! Nicaragua, fifth country, freaking. Five to five, baby! All right, now we're gonna go to this truck stop, we're gonna get some dinner, and we're gonna freaking chill axe after that stressful day. Holy fuck. Holy balonies. Holy balonies. How'd you do? He doesn't even wanna talk about it, he's so upset. I'm feeling relieved. Yeah. That's how I feel. I'm ready to pass out. Yeah. <laughs> Take a Nicaraguan shower in the rain. <laughs> We're gonna mouth this and we'll see you guys in the morning. Welcome to Nicaragua. This isn't right though. Much better. We are so excited to start exploring Nicaragua with you. As always, thank you so much to our Patreons for making this adventure possible. Getting high? Probably. She's a pesa. Oh, nice yeah. job. Do you think it sounds so much like the original that we're gonna get a copyright strike? Without this double knee dirt boy in the bed. Oh! 